my theoretical analysis of development, attempts to provide a scheme that is capable to generally integrate all facts of economic dynamics. Economic cycles are changing because of what we call the implementation of new combinations. Social patterns change and hence every ideology is bound to wither. Ideology also relates to vision. Since this act induces fact-finding and analysis, and since these tend to destroy whatever will not stand the test, no economic ideology could survive indefinitely even in a stationary social world. Can capitalism continue to exist? No, in my opinion, not. However, this is my opinion, not a scientific diagnosis. We observe the opening of new markets and the organizational development of handicraft enterprises and factories into such concerns as U.S. Steel, illustrating the same process of an industrial mutation that constantly revolutionizes the economic structure from within, constantly destroying the old structures, constantly creating new ones. This process of creative destruction is the significant fact for capitalism. We distinguish five different types of such innovations with variable impact. Namely, introduction of new products, introduction of new methods of production, opening of new markets, development of new sources of supply for raw materials and other inputs, creation of new market structures in an industry. Now, experts and even the general public commonly perceive innovation as an important ingredient in economically effective new technologies, marketing strategies, and organizational approaches to enterprises. By contrast, innovative new social practices in changing patterns of behavior rarely receive much attention. This one-sidedness is systematic and has a history that will be reviewed in this article in order to outline and then to work out the specifics of what should be considered as social innovations and the categories by which they can be empirically recorded and analyzed. The article will conclude by referring to critical areas of social development in the 21st century, which have manifested a special need for basic social innovations. Economists and social scientists of all sorts should reconceptualize the role of the economy in the now most globalized society of all times. A spectacular achievement, instigated and driven not least by innovations, as we began to understand them a hundred years ago. We should consider economic developments as part of the larger stream of developments in society and culture. Our comprehension of what is innovation must comprise social dimensions of innovations in the world of firms, as well as in the public sector and in voluntary associations of citizens from all walks of life. Yet, since there are innovations 
that are specific to economic processes, it is as obvious as inevitable to establish what are the specifics of innovations in social processes. It was a pleasure to observe creative new ideas emerging here during the past two days. You profoundly demonstrated that the relevance of an innovation should not be gauged exclusively by the respective reference system of the economy, society, or technology. Although economic and social innovations differ according to their objectives, all innovations are socially relevant in that they emerge under social conditions and have social effects. In concluding, let me repeat one gist of my writing from a hundred years ago. I considered economic analysis most advanced within the rich realms of social sciences. It has a proven capacity to serve as model to further analyze developments in other social spheres than the economy. Discussions and approval of the Vienna Declaration on the Most Needed Social Innovations identified important research topics that call for elaboration by scholars of all shades of social sciences, including economics and humanities. Much work waits for you and the wider communities around the globe. However, since there is a third day in this conference, providing ample possibilities to immediately dig deeper and establish research collaboration, I am assured of continuing progress of the inquiring mind. Thank you. <laughs>